Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. Let's take a relaxing brain break. Put your hands on your belly. Imagine you have a balloon in there. And when you breathe in, you're filling the balloon up with air and making your belly blow up. Breathe out and let the air out of the balloon. Your belly should go in and your hands go down. Let's repeat that. Breathe in through your nose. Fill the balloon up with air. Now breathe out of your mouth. Let the air out of the balloon. I can never get enough of those relaxing brain breaks. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Hi, Patriots. In today's history on March 2nd, 1933, the landmark monster movie King Kong had its world premiere. You may have heard of King Kong knowing there are 12 Kong production films, but this particular movie was the original. This movie focused on a crew who visited an island and discovered a massive gorilla called King Kong. The gorilla gets taken where he develops a bond with the woman. You may be familiar with the most recent one called Godzilla vs. Kong. This is a movie where Kong fights a robot dinosaur called Godzilla. Wow, these movies really have come a long way. What's your favorite Kong movie? Mine is definitely Godzilla vs. Kong. Now let's go see what's on today's menu with Zarmel. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasting lunch is... And tomorrow's amazing breakfast will be cinnamon breakfast round, graham crackers, Fresh oranges, 100% apple juice, strawberry banana yogurt, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, Lucky Charms, and your trace and milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time and to always bring lunch cards. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Zarmel. Scholars, let's continue to pass those lessons for this quarter's instructional software challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see what is required and have them done by March 26th. It is important for you all to follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phone shut down at your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school, so please don't chew gum in the building. Grade 6 through 8. Let's get into the game by going to this fun event on March 16th. There will be games, sports, and more fun. Make sure to give $5 to your teacher and get no referrals before the event to secure your spot. I'm so excited for the next family night. It will be on March 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be at Off the Wall, so prepare to have fun and check out the flyer for some more details. The picture store is open every morning. Tomorrow, it's the kindergartner's turn. Make sure to bring your tickets and keep earning those points. This past month, RPTV has been working to create some videos for a digital contest. Let's go see a little bit on what they have been working on. Wow, look at all this. What are you guys even doing here? Today, we asked her the question, how did you learn to help your students develop their theoretical skills? Well, I help my students develop their theoretical skills by first um, teaching them how to learn to love themselves. At Renaissance Charter School at Pines, we have multiple talented students, including one by the name of Tyler Bennett. He is known for his very creative art style and work around the school. So let's go learn a little bit more about Tyler. So Tyler, how did you discover your talent for art? Here's awesome. something granted for something you earned. You earn a victory with teamwork and dedication. It's the trust, effort, communication, willingness to learn, and collaboration that makes a team. Really? You're eating in my class and during a test? You want one? I wish I had 
at that dog. I wish I had those shoes. I wish I had those grades. Wow, I can't wait to watch the full videos, and you can too by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today you're going to want to spend some time outdoors because the weather is expected to be a cool 86 degrees Fahrenheit with bright and sunny skies. Another weather news is weather phenomenon is sure to amaze you. In British Columbia, this waterfall is creating perfect spears of ice. You may be wondering how this happened, and it's quite simple. You see, when the movement from the pouring waterfall mixes with the cold temperature, it creates an ice slush. The slush later hardens and becomes a ball due to the repeated motion in the water. Now let's go to Jasmine for the birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Alyssa Desrazo, Diamond Barker, Maximiliano Basto, Dominic Donaldson, and Dylan Miranda. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Jasmine. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively and kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Newton, Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Sheriff, and Ms. Carter. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, I have six eggs, I break two, and I ate two. How many eggs do I have left? The correct answer was four eggs. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. In which sport were women first allowed to compete in modern Olympics? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.